next up, we had an, what was kind of an in-ring interview with Wardlow. But uh, right as Shivani introduced him and Wardlow hit the ring, Wardlow threw him right out of the ring. So it was more of just a promo. Uh, Wardlow obviously is pissed as usual. Uh, but this time it's because he said that he used to have thousands of uh, people chanting his name. But now he's the one homegrown AEW superstar uh, who should have had a rocket strapped to his back, but instead had it strapped upside down. Uh, he doesn't understand how he hasn't gotten a title shot yet, especially compared to the last three champions that AEW has had. Wardlow then runs through them, and uh, starting by saying he gave the so-called, 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 geez, quote-unquote, best in the world, the beating of his life to the point where his body is still falling apart, obviously in reference to CM Punk. Uh, he then talks about the guy who's, quote, better than you and you know it, unquote, uh, saying he gave him the beating of a lifetime and defeated him in mere minutes, obviously reference, referencing MJF. And the last time he faced the, quote, most dam- dangerous person in the room, unquote, Samoa Joe, Wardlow ended up choking him out. Uh, Wardlow uh, cl- claims that he is the baddest, quickest, toughest, nastiest son of a bitch to ever lace up a pair of boots. And he's tired of not being seen as such and tired of not being seen as a world champion. Uh, we then also later got something that was announced for him, but I'm going to save it because I want to do that separately. But James, similar to Garcia earlier in the night, I think this is one of Wardlow's best promos ever. I, I agree. Three former champions. He was passionate, articul- like articulate, and he's said a lot more than he usually does. And this is what we need out of this guy if he's going to be propelled into the main event scene. I completely agree. I I said it a few weeks ago during one of his matches that I legitimately thought it was one of the best matches we've seen of him in AEW, if not the best match of his. And this week, I agree on the promo front. I think this is the best promo he's ever cut in AEW, if not his entire career. I think, say what you will about Undisputed Kingdom. It's a group that has lost a lot of steam and a lot of momentum and their purpose, essentially, with MJF being gone. Yep. But I think the one thing they're accomplishing, the one thing they're truly, truly succeeding in is making Wardlow better. Maybe not in terms of crowd response, maybe not in terms of appeal, but legitimately in terms of making him an overall better package 